Hey guys, it's me, JSHDIY, and welcome to my video. I'm super excited I get to hang out with you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make slime without glue using ingredients that you might be able to find in your house. So if you want to find a really cool slime that you can make with an ingredient you have already, just keep on watching. Today's notification squad shoutouts go to Lana Mihani, Ria Tarea, and also Destiny Sanford. This week I put together a little package of a bunch of goodies, slimes, and also a brand new iPhone 11 that I'm going to send off to one of you guys. So if you would like me to send you this package, just follow the rules on the screen. On Friday I'm going to pick a winner that has followed each and every one of the rules and I'm going to send the package off to them. The first way I'm going to be showing you guys how to make slime without glue is by making slime with mouthwash and hairspray. Starting off, take some mouthwash and put it into a little container and put this into your freezer for 20 minutes or so until it is nice and cold. After 20 minutes, take the Listerine out of the freezer and then you need to grab a hairspray and spray it on top of your Listerine. As you guys know, hairspray becomes really stiff once it's dry. Basically because our Listerine is so cold, when the hairspray hits the Listerine, it instantly dries. So once you've put enough of your hairspray into the Listerine, it's going to start making little clumps of slime. When the pieces of dried hairspray gather onto your fork, just remove them and set them aside and keep repeating the process until you're happy with the size of your slime. Once you're happy with the size of your slime that you've made, you can put this into an airtight container and let it sit for two to three days so that all the air bubbles can rise out of the slime and make it all crystal clear. I lost my way. No verses. A couple times in the past, I have shown you guys how to make slime with soap at home, but some of you guys have told me that you want to make clear slime like I've shown in my videos, but you guys have a white shampoos or soap. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool hack to make a clear slime out of a white soap. So starting off, you just need to take whatever soap you have at home and put it into a microwave safe bowl. Then you're going to be needing an ingredient called cream of tartar and you might be thinking right now i don't have that at home but check with your parents because you probably will it is a pretty common ingredient for cooking don't have any cream of tartar by any chance comment down below and i will try to comment back to you with a cream of tartar substitute to make your slime turn clear all you have to do is put it in the microwave for one minute take it out let it cool down and then just keep repeating the process until yours turns clear everybody's microwaves are slightly different so just keep doing this until you have a clear slime Okay, it has been in there for a little bit, I think maybe about 45 seconds, and I'm just going to check on it to see if it's starting to at least turn into slime, because you guys can see around the edges, it is a lot, a lot more clear. It doesn't have that metallic look to it, and it looks way more clear, and you guys can see on the very bottom, 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is also turning white. So the reaction is already starting, but I'm going to go put this back into the microwave. So let's go back in there. Okay, guys, so for the past 20 minutes or so, I've just been watching some YouTube on my computer while I would put the slime in the microwave for one minute intervals, and it looks to be almost crystal clear now. So I think we're going to be done with this. We're just going to let it sit for maybe five minutes so that it can congeal a little bit and become a little less sticky. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, the slime is a little bit sticky, but I'm just so impressed that we were able to make a pretty clear slime by using a white soap. So this is a great recipe. You guys should totally test it out. So I let my slime sit out without a lid on it overnight, and this is how the slime turned out. You guys can see it was a lot less sticky after letting it sit because it was able to dry out a little bit. So I would definitely recommend doing this if you want to have a really more glue slime-like consistency. long i have been practicing for this recipe because i know that all of you guys have shampoo at home and another thing that a lot of you guys probably have at home is an oven so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to turn it shampoo into slime by putting it in the oven and baking it so starting off you're going to need some coconut oil and you want to just put this on your pan you can also use any sort of oil but you're going to need something on your pan so that the slime won't stick to it Once you have greased your pan, it is now time to take your shampoo and put it onto your pan. I put mine kind of randomly so that it would be evenly cooked in the oven, but you can put it on however you want, but you don't want to pile it on too thick because that will make it a lot harder for it to dry out in the oven. Before you do this, also make sure to get a heads up with your parents that it is okay for you to put a shampoo in your oven because it might be a little bit of a weird thing, but I'm putting mine in at 220 degrees, so it isn't super hot, but it's enough to dry it out over time, and I left it in there for about 25 minutes, but everybody's oven is different, so also you will need to check with your parents to make sure you know how long to keep it in there, but once mine was in the oven, it ended up like this, so basically it just dried out a lot and it kind of spread out in the oven and and it made this pretty thick slime that was clear and yeah. I've only tried this with the Pantene shampoo that I used at the beginning, but you guys can try whatever shampoo you have and make sure to let us know in the comments what shampoo works for you. As you guys know, there's a couple different ways you can activate glue when you want to make slime with glue, and those are by using detergent, contact lens solution, or Brex. But today I wanted to test out a new recipe that one of you guys said is your top secret when you make slime with glue. So let's see if it will actually work. Happy Bella Bee said that she has made a slime by taking a sheet mask and soaking in some water and it worked to activate glue. So we're gonna see if this actually works because if it does, it will be a great little hack if you wanna make some glue slime and you don't have borax. Now for the moment of truth, I'm just going to be adding some normal clear glue into this so we can see if it will actually turn into slime. I'm not quite sure, but we will see. I have no really actual details into how to make this slime, but I'm just going to make it as if I was making a normal clear slime. Well, as you guys can see, the slime is actually starting to form and it's pulling away already. So I am very excited to see that this actually works. But we're going to see how the texture of this slime is when we actually try to play with it. So as you guys can see, without a doubt, it definitely activated, but it is a little bit sticky. But I still thought the slime looked really cool, so I decided to borax it so that we could just still get a little good slime ASMR in there for you guys. As 
you guys know, some soap slime recipes don't really ever work, but I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a recipe, and I'm also not gonna be doing any edits so you guys can see it instantly activate right in front of your eyes. So instead of using glue to make this slime, we are going to be using some soap, and so the soap I'm using is a clear body wash from Dial, but if you're wanting to make this slime too, you can pretty much use whatever soap you have. To turn your soap into slime, you're gonna be needing some baking soda. This is as if you were adding like borax into glue, but when you add the baking soda into your soap, it's gonna start drying the soap up when you mix the baking soda in, and it's gonna start forming a nice slime. It might get a little bit sticky before it can be fully a slime, but you want to just keep mixing baking soda in it until it has dried up enough to the point where it feels pretty holdable and clicky. If you guys want to see me make a full video of me making no glue slime recipes without doing any edits, let me know by giving this video a like, and I will definitely try to make that for you guys. If your slime is super sticky when you first take it out of your container, I'd recommend adding some baking soda on top of it. It will make it a lot less sticky, and you can even add a little bit of salt, and this will also help make it more slime-like. My slime is done now, so I'm just going to let this sit for a couple days until it is fully clear, and I will check back in with you guys then. After the slime fully cleared up, it actually felt super great, and it felt pretty similar to a glue slime, so I was very excited about this recipe, and this is definitely one of my go-to recipes now. the very bottom of the container is always a little bit more sticky than the other slime but it is actually super crystal clear you guys can see just how crystal clear the slime is Go grab a snack. I got a little matcha and also some sushi because I needed a little snack, but we are going to get straight into the little Q&A. First question we got is, what is your favorite slime you have right now? So honestly, one of my favorites is actually that Nogu slime we made earlier because it was so thick and amazing. But besides that one, I also have these two that I've been obsessed with recently, and those are this Nogu slime that I made with a crazy ingredient that you guys all have at home that you'd be so shocked would turn into the slime. So I filmed that. It will be up soon. But my second favorite one is this Peachy Babies slime that Andrea sent me that is just so amazing. It's an amazing cloud slime. The last question I'm going to answer for today is what are your plans for March? So as you guys know, I used to only post about once a month, but this month I'm going to spend my entire month making new no slime videos for you. So there's going to be a new video at least every single Saturday. So just get ready for so much content more than ever. Like seriously, guys, you guys are never going to get bored this month because I have so much new stuff coming out.
Also, so much for watching. I had a great time with you guys. And if you did too and you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe so that we can hang out all the time and you can see all my new videos. And I do have an Instagram, so you can go follow me over there at JSHDIY. Go spam me, comment on all my posts, and I'll try to send you guys slime packages. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys over on one of the videos on the screen. Bye, guys. See you there.